Yes, hello. I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? Well, that's great. Oh, uh, hang on one second, please. Sorry. Yeah, so I'd like to order four cheese pizzas and a banana. Yeah. No, and for the rest of the family, I'd like to order three salads and three more bananas. Got to get a potassium. Yeah, that's it. All right, thanks very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Sorry, sorry. I was just ordering some lunch. I'm really hungry. I love pizza. And I'm sure I'm glad I've got this thing, this, this cell phone. It's so useful these days being stuck at home. These days, you just pull out your cell phone, look up a pizza place online, push the button for the number, and then boom, you can call on your pizza right away. It's really convenient having these things. In fact, sometimes I think, I'm not sure how I could live my life without having one of these things. Do you know anybody that has a cell phone? There's a lot of people using a lot of cell phones in the world right now. And it seems like every year they're coming out with a new edition of the cell phone you've got to go out and buy <laughs> for fun. I went and I looked in my drawer and I found one of my first cell phones right here. And I found my wife's first cell phone. And this was the next cell phone that my wife got. This is the one that I'm just using now. And then I also borrowed, this is my wife's cell phone. It's even bigger. And they've got even bigger than that. And then you might have noticed I've been using, this isn't a cell phone, but this is a tablet that a lot of people use for the same kind of stuff. <laughs> That's a lot of cell phones and tablets. A lot of technology, isn't it? So... You know, as I was looking at these and thinking about these, I asked myself, I wonder what is the story of these cell phones? All these cell phones here that I've been using over the years, where do they come from? How are they made? What is their story? So I know this is called Every Rock Has a Story. Cell phones certainly aren't rocks but they are made from things that come from rocks. So I want to show you some of the rocks that we mine to make the ingredients for cell phones. The first one I want to show you is a beautiful little rock. It's this one right here. This one is called lepidolite. Lepidolite. Actually, when I show you up close, you'll see lepidolite is a beautiful pink color. There you can kind of see that pink color. You know, the light's not perfect. It's really a beautiful pinky purple color. And you might even notice it's flaky in sheets, like a mica. In fact, lipidolite is a mica, just like what we saw yesterday in episode number 23. But lipidolite is a special mica because it has an ingredient called lithium. Lithium is the ingredient in lipidolite. Now, lipidolite, this lipidolite, is found in a rock called a pegmatite. I've mentioned pegmatite before. I'm going to tell you that story another day. But lipidolite is mined in order to get lithium. Do you know what we use lithium for in our cell phones? Batteries. Lithium batteries are some of the best batteries that you can get. In fact, if you want to have really good batteries, if you want to store a lot of energy, including solar energy, you need lithium. So that's what this is. This is my battery rock, lipidolite, right there from my pegmatite. The next one I want to show you is this one. This is kind of a dull black, a little bit of a shiny black mineral. I'll bring it to you. This one is called coltan. Coltan. Now, coltan, let me bring this one up close. It's not the prettiest mineral, and this isn't the best sample, but it's got some rustiness on it, but that shiny black part in the middle, that's the coltan. Coltan stands for one of the ingredients, coltan tantalum. Tantalum is another ingredient in coltan, and we need tantalum in our cell phones too. Tantalum is used for powerful capacitors. 
Now, a capacitor is an electrical part inside a phone, and a capacitor allows you to take the energy from the battery, hold it tight, and then really quickly pew, 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 send out that energy to the different parts of the phone that need it. And we need lots of tantalum from coltan to make those capacitors. Now, the story of coltan is not a story I'm going to tell today. It's really not a story for kids. But I'll just tell you that the story of coltan has to do with a lot of fighting, a lot of angriness, a lot of scary, mean people doing some scary things to other people and stealing that coltan. It's a sad story, but it is part of the story. That was one of my cell phones just beeped. It's part of the story of telling how our cell phones are made. The last ingredient that I want to tell you about today comes from this dazzling pink, beautiful rock. This is one of my favorite rocks. My cell phone keeps on beeping. Maybe it knows I'm talking about it. This one is called eudiolite. The pink mineral in this rock is called eudiolite. And I'll tell you a little bit more about this one because it's part of our research right now. First, look at that. All that beautiful pink color is the mineral eudiolite. And it's got white minerals around it and some black minerals around it too. But the ore, the valuable ore, is that pink eudiolite. Oh, I love this rock. This rock was collected at a eudiolite mine in Canada by one of my students. His name is Alex. And Alex is doing a research project on the formation of that eudiolite ore. Do you know what the ingredient in eudiolite is that we need for cell phones? It is something called rare earth elements. Rare earth elements. There's a whole bunch of them. And all those different rare earth elements are needed in the cell phone. They mostly make magnets. Magnets that make the buttons work and the screen work and the camera work. So we need lots of rare earth elements to make our cell phones and our screens for uh, tablets and other things like that. Eudiolite for rare earth elements, coltan for tantalum capacitors, lipidolite for lithium batteries are all needed inside our cell phones. So the story of this cell phone has to do with the scary stories of how some mean people get the coltan, the beautiful pink lipidolite that comes from pegmatites that I'll tell you about another day, and the eudiolite that comes from this rock in Canada. Eudiolite is an igneous rock. It's a deep, deep, deep molten magma that cooled and crystallized almost one and one half billion years ago. And then we have learned in our research that there was a later mountain building event about a billion years ago that reheated this rock and really concentrated the eudiolite ore. We are trying to learn about where we can get these resources safely and without being mean to other people and to understand how these rocks form. So that today was the story of cell phones and coltan and lipidolite and eudiolite. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.